just the infantry version of War Thunder? Uh, I suppose kind of, yeah. In a way. Enlisted is a uh, free-to-play FPS. Uh, it's based around squad-based mechanics in the historical settings of World War II. It works really well. It's really fun to play. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, Bungle, hope you're doing well and I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going over and listening to the War II free-to-play first-person shooter. Much requested, much talked about is, hey Bungle, why don't you come up to show me KP-26, some machine gun that is a gold order weapon that you can pick up in the Battle of Moscow campaign for Germany. So if you're watching this, found a new viewer, possibly a new subscriber, maybe wondering, hey Bungle, what do you do here on this channel? Well, give you an overview, kind of telling you know, what this review we're talking about, this vehicle, this class, this weapon, etc. Next, talk about performance. Is it good? Is it bad? And lastly, do I recommend picking it up? So without further ado, let's begin. Start off with an overview. All right, so this is some machine gun. This can be equipped by a tanker, or it can be equipped by your assault class, right? So this is a submachine gun. It can all be equipped by your assault class, or if you have a tanker, you can equip it as, you know, a tanker, but honestly, you wouldn't want to equip it in the assault class. Now for performance, all right, the big question, how does this perform? Well, you get 36 rounds, 36 round magazine. It kind of looks, reminds me of a bulldog submachine gun, but because of the way the magazine is and you kind of just load it and everything like that, it's kind of cool, but it hits hard. This is also a Finnish weapon, not a German weapon. So I imagine Germany picked this up when they invaded through, or they didn't really invade, kind of went and occupied Finland. And Finland wanted to get uh, revenge back on the Russians. So uh, doing that, you know, they kind of picked up a Finnish weapon um, and they were using some of their some machine guns. So like I said, historical accuracy, you can go nail me in the comments down below, but it's general, my general awareness of World War II. So yes, this is a Finnish submachine gun. Uh, Germany was using this in the war, and you can go and use this yourself. And pretty much, you may be wondering, how does it perform? Is it good or is it bad? Well, pretty much it hits hard, it melts soldiers. And moving down here to, you know, is it worth picking up? Honestly, like I said, gold orders are hard to come by, um, especially if you are not a pay-to-win wallet warrior, such as myself. So you can keep in mind as battle passes progress through different seasons, you can go back and purchase by gold. Usually I think it's 1100 gold for a gold order weapon. And you know, if this is an option for you, consider doing it. If you have, you know, a gold order lying around and you play Battle of Moscow and you like to play Germany and stuff like that, you like the gunplay, you really like how it plays, then I would recommend picking it up. I know gold orders are hard to find, but in my opinion, like I said, if you really like it, you like playing Battle of Moscow, you like playing the Assault of Class, and you like Germany, definitely consider picking it up. In my opinion, it's kind of like a Gure 43 level of OP just because it just, it just melts. It just really does shred enemies. And generally, it's good at long range, short range, medium range, good for pushing objectives. Highly, highly recommend picking this weapon up. Other than that, I've reached this point in the video. If you're possibly a new subscriber, I hope today is the day that I earn your subscription, have your sub, and mash that like button. This helped me with the YouTube algorithm. Returning sub, returning viewer. Hashtag gold order weapons. Which gold order weapons did you pick up yet? Which ones do, would you like me to review that I haven't even touched yet? Other than that, I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Hey, sound a little bit.